All right, this one is called these VTubers are something disgusting. I can't say that because it's going to get demonetized if I say it in the first eight seconds of the video. But hey, let's see what Rev has to say. Hey, what's up, guys? Rev here. So we all know that Twitter is an absolute hmm. cesspool. It is one of the most toxic places on the Internet. How but Rev, I bet as much as he shits on Twitter people, I bet he loves Twitter. Because it's like his oil, you know? Without Twitter, this operation can't exist. So it's like a hate-love relationship where it's like, I can't believe these idiots are saying this shit on Twitter. But at the same time, thank you for saying all this stupid shit so I can farm your ass. However, over the past 24 hours, I think it's been the most toxic stretch in the history of that platform. Now, okay. on this channel, we do cover things that get a bit political, but we don't typically get too directly involved in politics. I smell... The assassination attempt of ex-president Donald Trump coming up. Politics. However, there are sometimes yeah. events that are so big and the reaction is so widespread that yeah. it comes to areas that are very relevant oh, to this boy. channel, like in today's case. So there was an event that happened yesterday, a very yeah. big one. We'll get into the details. MAGA and rally, such brothers. such widespread reaction that VTubers were reacting to these events as they were unfolding. And the reaction from some VTubers yeah. are absolutely disgusting. So... Let me guess. They said that Trump should have died. They said that, how could you have missed this shot? You only had one job. What am I talking about? For context here, yesterday, yeah. former President Trump was holding a rally in oh, Pennsylvania. Sorry. And during that rally, he survived an assassination attempt. Now, miraculously, the bullet only grazed his ear and the shooter was immediately dispatched. It is actually crazy. Like, set aside your bias towards Trump. I can acknowledge that he's an absolute heinous evil person, but the presence of mind to come back up, knowing that there was a shooter outside, and yes, you know, they said target neutralized, but he had the idea to pump his fist up and say, keep fighting. Like, that's insane. It's like posing the perfect thumbnail. His awareness, his, his understanding of media and how people react, this single picture, and there's a bunch of other pictures too. These are gonna go down in social studies like textbooks in America. For like the next 10 years, like the next generation of kids, they're gonna learn this shit. This is an actual historical uh, uh, precedence happening right now. Patched. However, the very unfortunate news is that an innocent bystander had their life yeah. taken during this. I heard two audience died. Three people total died. Two audience members and one shooter, I think. Shooting that unfolded. Now, Twitter being the absolute cesspool <laughs> that it is, had a very unhinged reaction to this entire situation, <laughs> where here are the biggest trending hashtags from yesterday. Well, 6,538 posts isn't that much, but one job! You had one job! Listen, I think that... It, it, I see a lot of different talking points about this, too. Of, like, some people are even directly comparing Trump to Hitler and saying, All right, well, what if it was Hitler? Would you have said that, you know, you know, missing Hitler in that shot, like, you know, be being mad about it, saying, like, that we should have assassinated Hitler, you think that's a bad thing? That is a very hyperbolic thing to do. Like, I can definitely acknowledge Hitler and what all the evil shit that he's done, but I don't think Trump is really Hitler, not even fucking close. Whether or not, like, you want to argue about it, like, he hasn't done those things. And, like, if you want to suddenly say that, like, political assassinations are okay as long as it's the person that I hate, what does that really say about democracy? This is like the beginnings of democracy just like falling apart. And some people truly do want that. There's a lot of people even saying like, you know, they're, they're, I think the shooter was identified to be a Republican. And I think uh, some of the theories that people are saying is like, there's this concept called accelerationism. Accelerationism? Accelerationism. I don't know how to say it. Basically, he thinks that, people think that, if Trump goes, they love Trump so much that they know that if Trump died, he would go down as a messiah and like 10 other Trumps would appear and people will be even more galvanized and more inspired and motivated to like um, per pursue the ideology. Like you can kill the person, but you can't kill the idea type of thing. But regardless of whether or not you think that he's evil, he's a, he's a racist pedo, yeah, I see all these different things. You can't really vouch for political assassination or everything society we know just comes apart. You have to win it in a fair election, no matter how much the orange man is going to cry about. It's like, it's like a, you know, what was the famous slang? He's like, stop the count, right? Fake, fake news, stop the count. And all the voting by, you know, by, voting by mails are fake counts. 
Listen, you just have to win through democracy or everything that we know just falls apart. They one job, how do you miss? They Yeah, Putin or President Xi? Yeah, I yeah. That's a better like Trump is a maniac, but I don't think he's there yet. There's other examples if you want to compare that, but like I don't think this is it, man. Missed. Twitter users were most angry about the fact that the bullet didn't hit Donald Trump more clearly, obviously ending his life. They were upset that they couldn't see their political opponents game ended for their opinions. That is absolutely unhinged. And as predicted by Curry Renji here, the mm. reaction would get into the VTubing scene as well. And people just couldn't help themselves. Okay? All right. As predicted. Sorry, sorry. What does it say? This one says. This one says, you know, what? everything has to be related to VTubers these days, right? Here you go. Trump assassin. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to see a thread. Just couldn't help themselves. Okay. As predicted, you mm. can see the V tweeters saying the. That's crazy. I hope Trump assassination attempt will inspire others to kill these horrible senile world leaders. That is an insane thing to say. Mila VTuber underscore that. I don't think like these are reasonable adults functioning members of society. I think a lot of these people are unhinged, mentally ill people that have no no place to be saying this kind of shit it might seem based until you realize that like what if this was just allowed to happen like what if people could just you know just kill political opponents what does that really say like where did democracy go what happened to society as we know it some people really hate society and they want that shit to crumble down and that's what i was talking about with like the accelerationism kind of concept but i think that these aren't real like functioning members of society I think these are mentally ill children. I think that they're edgy by saying this shit. And I can totally understand why people want Trump dead. Absolutely. Who doesn't think that, right? No, think that as in like, who doesn't understand why people would want Trump dead? He's a very polarizing person. Absolutely. But this is a different league on its own. This has nothing to do with Trump. This is the kind of ideology of like being able to assassinate who you want because you just don't agree with their political opinions. That sets such a dangerous precedence moving forward awful stuff that you would expect from them saying that they uh they hope this will inspire other people to game end these leaders this person encouraging people to finish him and things like that i mean some of these might actually land you in federal prison by the way but we also see some vtubers like dina here saying if i speak and then saying, uh, don't say anything. Well, <laughs> that's so funny because this person's like i want to farm i want to save my opinion it's like no 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 careful now you pretty much spoke without having to but we also saw this individual once again saying yeah ah ha ha i shouldn't say anything and then two seconds later sharing this image right try here again with the quote, it's so edgy try again so once again their impulse control is negative it's non-existent okay they can't help themselves they have to say these things and you know what's really sad if you're gonna do things like this if you're gonna glorify or encourage violence against people for political views at least say it with your chest like this is pathetic you have to actually go out of your yeah, it's actually pretty cringe right it's pretty cringe that they gotta like post a fucking picture but the captions try again and circle it to make it seem like you know just double tap bro just come on try again just like just say it pussy like you want to you want to say your pain just say it pussy a way to try to downplay what you're saying to not get in trouble on twitter like at least hold on to your beliefs and say it with your chest stuff like this is just embarrassing but we also saw some bigger vtubers getting in trouble uh -oh. with this situation as pointed out here and another one coconuts coconuts individual do you know who coconuts is 17 000 followers coconuts she's a uh, coco d nuts. she's like an indie vtuber i guess who is a pretty well established streamer now what did they do well, they were live streaming I don't know in front of 900 actually. people as these events were unfolding, where Coconuts thought it would be a great idea to change the name of her stream title to They Missed Shaking My Head. And then she pinned... <laughs> what did she pin? And manually pinned a donation message, basically saying they wish the shooter was a better shot. Wait, wait, where's the donation going? They're not trying to like hire another as Hitman, right? No, 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 no. This donation goal is not for like a Hitman thing, but damn. I don't know. It's just. I totally understand why mis. Uh, not misunderstood. What, how like these people, these people that don't really have a well understanding how society should work, these edgy kids, these brain rotted, you know, man children, these people that are not 
suited for society. That, like, I can totally understand why they think that Trump should have died. For sure. I even hear from a couple of my friends as well. They have this, like, they hate, just absolutely hate Trump. Very left-leaning people. They absolutely hate Trump. And, I, and I, I completely recognize why they would hate that. But to kill, like, this is not about Trump, though. Again, this is about setting a precedence. It's like the same shit of, um, what was it? I think it's the same concept. It's a bit different, totally different. Not even the same scale of degree. But like, you know, anime where they started censoring, like 2.5 DDD side, there was like a scene where the ass got censored and there's a bunch of other shit happening. Like the lewd dialogue got censored. And then people are like, oh, you fucking coomer. Like, just go watch hentai if you want to do this shit. Like, why are you getting mad that this shit got censored? It's not about the censoring of the ass. It's not about, you know, assassinating Trump. It's about the precedence that it's places and how people will take this example and do more other shit with it moving forward once you set once you make it that like this is allowed you give people an inch they'll take it a fucking mile like yes i understand that you hate trump but like you have no fucking clue what would actually happen if trump got assassinated these are dumb children that has no understanding of how the world works just saying their edgy takes online yeah i'm glad you let the world know this about you that has nothing to do with your content. You've exposed yourself as this truly disgusting person who is glorifying and laughing at this violence. And in the true stunning and brave fashion you would expect, they immediately deleted the VOD as soon as their stream was over and they noticed that yeah. on Twitter, they were getting bombarded with criticism <laughs> and they've gone radio silent on Twitter since uh -oh. then. Is she private Twitter account? Hoping this whole thing will just brush over. However, some people are not taking the silent approach. You remember this shit? Who remember this shit? It was a lady that came with like a ukulele apology video. Which honestly, now that I think about it, when it came out, a lot of people shit on her for it. Now that I really think about it, kind of based. <laughs> she just said, fuck the standard YouTube apology. I'm gonna play my fucking ukulele. <laughs> and then people are gonna shit on me now, but everyone's gonna forget about it. <laughs> It kind of like worked. I don't know what she's doing anymore, but like the ukulele idea was crazy. They're pulling out the ukuleles and they're trying to apologize and yeah. get ahead of the situation for impulsive tweets they made about this situation. The main culprit here. Thank you for the bits, Pog. Is tricky. So this is a pretty well-established VTuber. You can see around 195, almost 200k followers. Her name is Tricky Wee. Chaotic ha Harpy Dragon VTuber, okay? 200,000 followers on Twitter and over 400,000 subs on YouTube. Damn. Now, what did they do? Well, they threw their hat into the ring and <laughs> made this. Remember to always shoot your shot. Surely you won't uh, miss. Uh, gee, I wonder what she's alluding to. Now deleted tweet saying, remember to always shoot your shot. Surely you won't effing miss with an angry face emoji. So clearly referring to what happened and expressing their disappointment and frustration that the shot wasn't more clear. Yeah, as you can see, stunning and brave. Once again, they deleted this tweet. However, before they deleted it, they had a series of replies. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of based though, right? What she's saying is heinous, but as soon as someone else, Mr. Knight of Knights showed up saying, not the time or place, Tricky. And Tricky says, I don't give a fuck. The unfollow button is right there. I, I, I'm not saying what she's saying is right, but that response is actually based. Not only emphasizing the, uh, the context of what they're referring to, but also re replying to this user saying, not the time or place, Tricky, where they replied saying, I don't give a F. The unfollow button is right there. <laughs> and don't worry, people found the unfollow button. In fact, a few <laughs> Well, it's not significant, but yeah, people are going to... I don't think this is going to kill our channel. Like, uh, we'll, we'll see. Time will tell. 100 found that unfollow button. But you can see the timeline of events here. So they would delete their tweets, try to yeah. cover up their tracks. And then they would tweet this out saying... Oh, this is a Rev's tweet. Rev tweeted this shit. Rev says, at least say with your whole chest, you fucking loser. And then uh, she got cooked. JK, just kidding. Trying to make like a little uh, silly haha -ha of this whole situation. You can see the timeline of events here. So 15 minutes after she that. She backpedaling tweet, real quick. I made my tweet saying at least. <laughs> she backpedaling real quick. She's like, ah, shit. My edgy joke might just end my entire VTubing career. Let's get the fuck out of here. Say this with your whole chest, referring to the fact she made these tweets and deleted them. Again, just like with the previous user, like if you're going to share these beliefs that I think you genuinely hold, 
at least have some balls to stand by it instead of immediately deleting it the second you're hit with any criticism. I don't think she has balls, Here's but I understand what you're saying. If people want to go mask off and show you who they really are, listen, pay attention, observe what they're doing because they are letting you know exactly where they stand on things. And she would act... Is she, did she used to be like a very cute uwu VTuber? Like, what if like Rosamie did this? You know, we just saw that. I'm not saying she would, but she seems like a very wholesome, you know, girl with that McDonald's, you know, fucking uh, the, the, the hash, hash browns, right? It's so cute. It's so cute. But if someone like that, some persona like that started to say something like this shit, it's like a mask off moment. I think it'd be hilarious. Actually reply to my tweet calling her out here. Uh -huh. And I, I really, I'm, I'm flabbergasted they thought this would work, but here's what they said. I didn't care about your reply to me per se, but I did delete it immediately after because it was in bad taste. <laughs> and I educated myself about the whole situation. <laughs> Impulse tweet after opening Twitter, it was absolutely a bad joke. Wow, straight out of the textbook. She acknowledges her fault. She said that she was ignorant, but she educated herself and then she admits her fault. That's like a fucking checkbox on every PR apology you could get. That's a, that's a solid apology. Now, does she actually feel that? I'm not sure, right? Who knows if she genuinely feels this way? This is most likely her making a dumb, edgy joke, getting shit on, realizing that career is in the line, then, and apologizing really quickly. But the apology itself, you know, it's, it's, it's decent, you know? It, it, it's, 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 it's decent. And like I was talking about earlier, the audacity of this reply, the fact that they thought this was going to work is crazy. Either they're a narcissist or they've been living in a bubble and they're not used to controversy like this. I don't really know. But the thing is, they thought they could come into the replies of this tweet and try to uh -oh. gaslight. Oh, I just saw it. I just, this is 412 replies here, by the way. 343 likes? 412 replies. When there's more replies than likes on a tweet? You know something is up. Everyone into believing this is some Ooh. silly misunderstanding is crazy and nobody was buying it. And honestly, I really wish they would make likes public again because I'd be very interested to see who, who liked it. 343 yeah. people are liking this tweet. Yeah, come on, because Elon. I would assume there's probably a lot of VTubers in those likes. And I think that would be very eye-opening to see the kinds of people supporting this message. But let's get into the message itself and dissect it a little bit, okay? So she starts off by saying, I didn't care. I don't care about this whole thing. Oh, you do care very much. You care enough. I, I, the, the first statement is very funny, though. I didn't care about your reply to me, per se, as in like, oh, it's not you, Rev. Why I'm making this response, even though I'm replying directly to your fucking tweet where I got cooked. To reply to my tweet, you care enough to make multiple tweets about this situation. You clearly care, and you care the most about the fact that you're getting criticism for what you tweeted. That's what you care about. You're getting backlash and now you're scrambling to try to fix the situation. And I love this language about educating yourself. <laughs> yes. People always say that when they're in trouble. I was ignorant. I just didn't know. I was sick in the head. I'm mentally, I, I just needed therapy. I educated myself. The, the verbos, the verbiage used, the wording. Again, it's a very PR response. It's pretty good apology. Just like if you just take your face value. But does she actually feel that way? Not a separate conversation. Well, oh, I, I educated myself on the situation. What education did you need on the situation? It's very clear. The context speaks for itself. And you immediately ran to Twitter and made those tweets yep. about the situation. How were you educated from literally 20 minutes before this reply was made? She read a book that said political assassination bad. Hey, that's all that happened. That, that was the timeline. It was like 20 minutes. So what were you educated on? And on top of that, we see this whole thing, this narrative that this was an impulse tweet and it was a bad joke. Now, in the VTubing scene, a lot- It is a bad joke, to be honest. A lot of people are trying to support the narrative that these are all just who jokes, else? right? Okay. Meanwhile, they're the same kinds of people who would cancel you for an edgy joke you made 10 years ago. So I don't really buy that. And on top of that, I don't really think these are jokes. Okay. I really don't. I think these people genuinely have this hostility in them and they just kind of went mask off. And I totally understand the hostility towards Donald Trump, right? Like, let's not get it twisted. I totally understand why people would want Trump dead like that. I totally understand why you should say shit like this. But these kids, these grown-ass, you know, man-children, woman-children, 
They just don't understand the idea of what a precedence this sets. Political assassinations, like society you know, democracy that you know as is, will just crumble overnight. People start killing opposition members just because you disagreed. It goes beyond just Trump. And they just, they just... They're just trying to farm for memes, I guess. But like, you say this shit, then you say it's just a prank. It's kind of cringe as well. In this situation, they went mask off and showed what they really think. And in this situation, with further context, you can see replies mm. from earlier... Uh, when she made her initial tweets, clarifying that she very much dislikes Donald Trump and Republicans, yeah. which, by the way, totally valid. Yeah. That is your opinion. That is your right. You have every right to dislike people because of their political views or to disagree or have a certain set of political views. That is totally your right. But you cross the line when you start glorifying and teeheeing at actual violence being directed at people because of their Hee <laughs> hee, I can't believe Donald Trump only got a hit marker after I 360 no scoped him with an intervention in Modern Warfare 2. Tee <laughs> hee, someone should finish him. Tee <laughs> hee. Political beliefs. That's when you go too far. And when the uh, explanation in my replies didn't work, oh. she would add a new tweet oh. further trying to explain the situation and apologize. So let's read it. It says this I messed up with a very poor taste tweet. I made an impulsive, stupid joke in the heat of the moment mm. and immediately regretted it. I jumped the gun. <laughs> no way she said that. Come on. I know it's a I know it's like a, a phrase. It's like it's something you say, right? <laughs> you jumped the gun, huh? Yeah, you really did. You jumped on that trigger. It's very trigger happy. <laughs> Not knowing the full story of the situation, <laughs> to jump on the bandwagon of missing your shot uh, tweets, believing that no one was harmed. I have educated myself now, educated. and I am incredibly sorry. While I'm all for a good joke, that was not <laughs> one of them, and it was highly insensitive. I would never advocate for anyone getting hurt. It was a childish mistake. Okay. A JK tweet was an attempt to lighten the mood, yeah, but it prank. made it seem even more insensitive to a very serious situation. I am very sorry. The not giving a F tweet was directed at a replier, Rev. not to the situation itself. So you can see there's just more scrambling here, trying yeah. to save face. I think it's very obvious. You, you can like sense the panic and desperation and she's just like clawing all this shit back and be like, oh fuck, everything I've built up is about to fucking go up in smokes, man. But like, <laughs> I jumped the gun is crazy. Knowing this topic, just like in this like third apology tweet, I jumped the gun is absolutely insane thing to say. Obvious that they are most sorry about facing criticism for what they tweeted. I think that is very obvious and they're doing mm. everything in their- They're not sorry about the tweet. But they're sorry about the criticism is a very good thing, right? Whenever people make mistakes, not mistakes, whenever people do really ill intent things and then they say, they, they apologize and they get caught, they're not sorry about the things that they did. They're sorry because they got caught. Their power to try to remedy the situation because as always with all these sorts of VTubers making tweets like this, it in no way benefited your career. It did absolutely nothing for you, even if the tweet was largely supported. But in this case, it's backfiring and you're losing followers and subscribers as a result. And what did you gain? Absolutely nothing out of it. You've created ah, some Twitter engagement, <laughs> some impression. I'm not sure if that's going to pay out, though. It did a massive headache for yourself. And if you look at the replies, on yeah. this tweet, I mean, there's 811 replies, not the same level of ratio as like before, you know, the comment, the like, amount of likes here is reaching to 3000, but still a lot. Nearly a thousand replies versus the 3000 likes. And okay. most of the replies are basically calling Read yes. They Read don't em. believe you. And they're bringing up other tweets that make it seem very clear that you knew what you were doing in that situation. Cancel tricky. And you only had a change in tune when people started piling on the criticism, but for now, that's going to do it for this video. It's very interesting to see uh, how mm. all this has unfolded in the VTubing scene. Another crossover of real life serious events somehow getting into the scene. It, it, it's wild. But I'm glad that there were some deranged VTubers that was going to talk about some Donald Trump shit. Because we watched that shit live on you know stream last night too. And we were having a pretty good time. Not having a good time because he was almost getting shot at. But the, just the overall craziness and just covering it. But... Thank God I could at least farm a video. But hey, go give Rev a like on this video. Sub to the channel if you haven't. I think that at the end of the day, again, it's not about assassinating Trump. It's not about censoring the anime ass and titties, right? It's about the precedence it sends 
and what will that will do to society. But most people don't think beyond. They only see the tree. They can't comprehend the forest behind them. So it is what it is.